right, welcome to this tutorial on how to do bubble heads. Um, we're gonna aim for something like like uh, one of these silly portraits, uh, where we exaggerate the size of the head. And um, I'm gonna go through uh, some of the basics of how to do this. Um, so I, I have this image here, which is gonna serve um, fairly well for the um, for the tutorial. Um, what I'm looking for is uh, an image that is shot on s um, on a uniform background, which makes it somewhat easier to uh, to mask it out. Uh, we're gonna mask out the head, so we can resize that um, apart from the rest of the body. We're gonna be liquefying it a bit as well. Um, uh, you wanna avoid long hair when you can, uh, because as as I said, we are gonna we're gonna. Um, mask out the uh, the head and try to make it a uh, different size and if we have long hair going over the shoulders it's going to conflict a bit, bit with that. Um, we're also going to use some dodge and burn later on. Um, we're aiming for this cartoonish uh, look and uh, universe so uh, we're going to exaggerate his expressions a bit. Uh, to, uh, to finish off we're going to sharpen the image and uh, apply a look on this also gonna add some background as well. So um, to begin with, I'm gonna make a um, I'm gonna make a quick selection of the whole image here. I'm using the uh, the quick selection tool up here. And basically, we don't need the selection of the head because we're gonna make a um, a mask of the head uh, separately. But this is a fairly easy uh, selection to make. Um, or, uh, I'm gonna use refine edge so I can refine the edge if I, if I need to. Let's see how it looks on the on the black. It looks fairly well. Um, if you can avoid the smart radius, do that. Uh, it always tends to uh, fringe the edges a bit. And we're going to just put out a selection. <coughs> I'm gonna save the selection for later. I'm gonna call this uh, whole body. Good. Command D to deselect, <coughs> and, and now we are going to make a selection of the head. Um, let's see. And what we do, what we want is um, the head. We've got the neck as well, uh, which is okay. Probably not going to need that part of the selection though. I'm zooming in so I can modify our selection a bit here. You can you can see here um, it's having a hard time selecting the uh, those parts of the image because they are uh, uh, a bit less in focus. So uh, also if you have the option to uh, try to find images that are completely in focus, makes the selection much easier. Now we're gonna I think we're gonna have to use the smart radius a bit here. Um, let's see. Uh, as yeah, this is not a tutorial about the um, about uh, how to mask images. Um, you can find loads of awesome tutorials about that. So uh, if you want to dig into the more specifics of how to use refine edge and stuff like that, what these different adjustment settings uh, do, you can uh, you can f you can find more in depth tutorials about that. We have decent selection here. Now normally I would uh, I would make a new uh, mask selection. But we're gonna need the pixels on a layer by itself. So I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be somewhat content with this uh, selection. And come on, if I say Command J, Control J, we have the head on a layer by itself. <coughs> now um, I'm gonna mute this layer. So we have the head up here, as you just saw. And going back to this layer um, to avoid any conflicts with the uh, original. Head and size. I am going to create a new layer between the head and the body, and quickly sample the background color and just paint over him, the head of the original image, so we don't conflict with that. Good. Oh, what we also want to do is um, have the shoulders and the top of the his head. Um, free of the back of the edge of the image. So um, when we're gonna increase the head size, we need more space in this image. 
So uh, I will go to image and go to canvas size. If I do like this, um, I'm saying that it needs to be expanding upwards instead of all directions. Um, so if we go to the percentage, it's somewhat easier. I can expand the width of the image and also the height. Let's see, like this. Okay, that's pretty good. Now I've uh, it, it chose the foreground color to p to put in here. Uh, it's a setting you can do. Um, now what we're gonna be using here is um, let's create a new layer here, put it below here, and just for the uh, for the sake of this, I'm gonna sample the darkest color. I'm just gonna paint. Just uh, I have a relatively low flow, around uh, 30 percent, just to make it a bit more uniform in this expression. We're gonna apply a um, background image. So um, actually that it's not it's not that necessary to do to do this. Okay, let's put it over here. Okay. So we have a somewhat decent image now. Right, great. Good. Back with the head. And we now have room for a head expansion. Command T to select the layer and the pixels on it. If you hold down Alt uh, option or and then shift and pull one of these corners I can increase the head size keeping its proportions right and also keep it in, in, in place if I didn't hold on alt I would just pull in like one direction and, and then I didn't hold on shift it would be like this so we don't want that Go for something like this. All right. As you can see now, um, the neck is uh, something of an issue. So uh, let's jump straight into uh, uh, into the filter and liquify. <coughs> now you can see here we only have the uh, his image. And if I show the backdrop, you can see what's behind it. Make sure the mode is behind. And let's zoom in a bit here. Yes. Now you can't use the shortcuts for increase to increase brush brush size, so you have to be uh, up here. Um, I'm gonna try to pull this part of his neck inwards a bit, so it kind of follows his. doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to mask this afterwards, but somewhat. Yeah, don't don't pay any attention to um to the previous look on him as you can see here. Okay. Now we also want to be modifying his uh, his facial features a bit to make it a bit more cartoonish. That that's perfect. So we increased his um, his lips and his nose and skewed his eye sizes. Okay, let's make a mask on this one. Zoom right in. Make sure you have the uh, black as a foreground color. Now we're gonna we're gonna be masking this. You can also always go back if it's too much. Let's go ahead and drag in a background. Okay, command A, Command C to copy it back to our image. Uh, with, uh, yeah. Command V, Command C to transform. Let's just put this up here and move it all the way down. Now remember, we uh, we did the selection of the whole image before. We go to selection, load selection. And in the channel, you can find this selection you made. So basically, we have um, we have this now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make um, 
I'm gonna make a group and put this in. And I'm gonna mask this group in. Now, it, it has reversed it, uh, the selection. So if you go Command I, uh, as you can see here, I didn't make the selection perfect, so we can always just mask this part out. And, um, as you can see here, the selection is what the size of the previous head. So we just gotta move this below the head. So we have this layer behind him now. Now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna see if we can change the blending mode so it becomes a bit more credible. What's actually happening back there? Something like uh, overlay could work. Yes, and we might wanna change the uh, <coughs> let's say the color of it a bit. Okay, so we'll add a hue saturation, pull out some of the color in this one. Let's change it a bit. We get a bit more. I think I would like. Yeah, I think I like it here. Okay, great. Um. Oh, as you can see, I think. Yes, I think the uh, mask filled a bit here. So we're gonna paint out this part of the selection as well with a white brush. I'm, I'm using a, tac, uh, a tablet for this, for the uh, for the painting parts. Makes it a bit more easy. Yes. And we might want to. Let's see. We might want to add a bit of blur to this. It doesn't stand out that that much in focus. Makes it a bit more credible. Yes. Okay. Okay. So so far so good. Now what we're going to do is I'm um, going to make this uh, the Dutch burn layer, create a new layer, change the blending mode to overlay, and with the white and uh, black, you can, with a relatively low flow, around 45%, you can go in and paint, paint the uh, highlights and make them more lit, high lit. <laughs> um, so can be somewhat liberal with this, especially when you're doing these cartoonish looks. Just find all the highlights of the image and enhance them. As you can see, I found all the highlights in the image and enhanced those. And uh, we also want to be looking at uh, some of the skin color of him, uh, so he blends a bit better with uh, with the background. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new, whoops, going to make a new let's see hue saturation, and go into the uh, master and and select reds. If I turn this all the way up, you can see which areas we're selecting. So I'm just going to turn this down a bit. Yes. And um, we might want to mask out, uh, mask back some of the colors in the, uh, in the lips, for instance, and in the eyes as well. So it doesn't affect them that much. Just wanted to pull out some of the, some of the colors in the hands. We might overdo it. Um, I'd like to see some more contrast in the whole image. So, do that as well. And <coughs> to make this uh, background seem more credible, I'm gonna go back to the uh, the background layer, and I'm gonna make a new layer on top of it. Call this uh, light. And what we can do here is with a uh, Here. So make this um, seems like there's a light coming from behind him. Yes. Uh, we can always change this to uh, overlay so you can see what what this does. If we want to make it all all white, we don't need to 
enhancing the colors from behind here. I think that makes sense actually. Yeah. Something like this. And we might want to make a new layer to assign light to. We're not changing the blending mode to overlay, but having small like this these extremely wide areas. So we can see if we could do something like that. Makes sense. Alright. I think we're uh, we're getting close to being uh, being there. I still want to mask this this area, isn't it? It's not perfect. So um yes. going into bit more hot brush. I'm gonna mask out this area. Let's give him a nice clean shave. Yes, and you can see here this is um this is actually this part where my masking of the background wasn't that perfect. Yeah, right. All right, I think we're uh, we're getting there. So uh, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to go to the whoops, going to the topmost layer, select that, and press Command Alt Shift E to stamp visible. So I've made a copy of the whole image um, right on top of the uh, of it all. So if, if I regret anything I can always go back. But I need to do this uh, if I'm to apply, uh, let's say, sharpen. Everything that goes in filters you have to have the, uh, the actual pixels that you can't create it on a new separate layer. Uh, or a separate empty layer. So I'm going to do some on sharp. And we want uh, a, a max amount of pers uh, sharpening should always be around 200. I think more exaggerated is a bit too much, and radius should never go too high. Uh, you end up with something like this. We don't want that. Um, for this image, I think between two and three pixels um, makes sense. And to finalize it all, I'm going to add some some uh, general color adjustments to uh, to make this look a bit more uh, a bit better add some solid color here choose a blue color and change the blending mode to screen or light lower the opacity what this does is it makes uh, as you can see here it adds some blue in the shadow areas I'm gonna lower the opacity a bit more like that. I think that looks good. Uh, color balance to just hold it a bit more. Uh, let's see. Um, at this point I'm just playing around a bit. Um, that's generally what you want to do when you're making these uh, adjustments. Find something that suits you. And I could also be adding a bit of vignette for this image. Doing like this and I am going to go to the uh, gradient tool here, select this one. And I'm using the um, this uh, radial tool, I'm pulling it out, so I'm actually, as you can see here, saying which which areas we don't want this effect to, uh, to be on, so we're only adding, adding the corners. Oh, yeah, let's see. If we're getting there, could add a bit more contrast to this image and a bit less perhaps and pull out some color of it yes I think we got it so um so this is this uh, a take on how you can make these bubble head images I'm gonna crop this a bit Nice and easy, like this, perfect. If you have any questions or any comments, please leave them in the comment field. And if you have any requests of what I should do next, uh, let me know.